When you think of Google Nexus devices, you don't think of the best cameras or even decent ones. Google hopes to change that this year, 2015. So with the 5X by LG and the 6P by Huawei, they both have the same f2.0 aperture 12.3 megapixel Sony sensor with laser guided autofocus and dual LED flash. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna time to see if the new hardware and software make a better camera for the Nexus. So kicking things off, we're gonna get into the, the new camera app, Google's new camera app a little bit. You can actually access it really quickly by just double tapping the home button, boom, you go right in. As you can see, the layout is still minimal, but you know, some things have changed. Over here on the bottom left, you of course you have the option to flip the front facing camera. This is how you access your you know, recently taken photos, videos. And the top left, you have the three lines that gives you the option for photosphere, panorama, lens blur, settings. There's not really much you can play with in settings. Other than, you know, change the resolution and different things. And 4K, of course. Um, you have the timer, timer option right here. You just touch to use, HDR, on or off automatic flash on or off and then to get to the video you just swipe to the left and then these change now you have the option for 240 frames per second as well as 120 frames per second uh, both in 720p video and then the flash on and off on this guy on the nexus 5x you only have the option for you only have the option for 120 frames per second. So with the Nexus P, you get the options. With the Nexus P, you get the options for both. On the performance side of things, we get to see a good mesh of Sony sensors and Google's camera software. It takes standard photos lightning fast as things slow down a bit when using HDR for processing, of course. Uh, the results offer good color reproduction. It can overexpose at times, but still manages to pull in a good amount of detail in regards to you know the different shots especially compared to um, other budget shooters or things around the same price range and also don't look for manual mode here because google google's camera app doesn't have it so in good to average lighting situations you will get great photos in auto without the need of any filters enhancements and all that other crap the larger micron pixels help help out in a great deal in most of the light environments in low to no light settings you do get a little bit of grain but all that can be saved if you, have, if you have HDR on, you'll get great photos without having to utilize the flash. But if you do have to utilize the flash, if you're not too close, you can still manage to get good shots. So just off the photos alone, it definitely feels like a better shooter for a next device. Now, as I said previously, you don't have optical image stabilization, but Google did manage to put in video stabilization. So that works out pretty okay, pretty well. Um, the 4K video is pretty good. Um, there's really no complaints on the video side of things. You, you know, of course, lighting, lighting is always a deciding factor. But just as a whole, uh, both Huawei and LG do a do a pretty good job in regards to the video recording different things. So it definitely took a while to get here, but Google can now offer great to good shooters that can contend with the competition. Of course, they still have a bit more to go truly combat those of the iPhones and the Galaxy devices because those are pretty much the top right there but in regards to everything else and other um, other different devices that definitely hold their own in regards to that definitely a step in the right direction so making the new Nexus your daily driver you can do it with a lot of far less compromise than previously so that's pretty much it don't forget to like share subscribe Thank you for watching, we appreciate it. The likes and shares help out a lot. And be on the lookout for the review, which will be up in a few short days. And as always, thank you for watching.